Her depression starts with mood, but Sima's healing, a 50-year-old mother, begins in this mud, where she finds solace and peace. In the process of crafting pottery, every element is drawn from nature. From earthy clay to gritty sand, no human-made technology or electricity is employed. It is simply the gentle touch of the hand that shapes and molds the raw material into exquisite forms of art. <laughs> I'm not this big. To prevent pottery from cracking in the future, it is necessary to mix sand and clay and thread them for at least an hour. <laughs> In the wondrous world of pottery making, I've witnessed this act countless times. It mirrors the human mind, just as we mustn't let negative thoughts overpower us. In pottery, we mustn't allow any large grains of sand to invade the clay. It's a delicate dance of balance and mindfulness, both in art and in life.
Wind is Simo's greatest foe in a pottery making. It has the power to destroy entire pots in a single day. As she learned the hard way when her creations were ruined in the kiln. To prevent such incidents from happening again, she covers the clay at all times, gardening it against the capricious winds. It's a comical dance of protections and perseverance, where the elements of nature and human ingenuity collide in a battle of winds. خدایا با میت تو بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم خدایا تو با کل بر تو ای خدایا بزرگ خدایا شکر خدایا تو با کل بر تو
This art, a family art, was taught to Sima and her sisters by their mother. As a child, Sima didn't enjoy learning pottery. However, depression led her to seek a healing path, and her sister and mother supported her in mastering this craft. Despite her progress, Sima sometimes replaces her anger even over minor issues in pottery making. In my view, the art of pottery is not just a solace for Sima's soul, but a kinship with her family. In the depths of despair, it uplifts her spirit, shielding her from the snares of old sorrows. We have all weathered different tempests in our lives, each finding a unique path to solace. Yet, the embrace of family or dear friends and the embrace of an art can hasten the mend or soften the scars. Thus, profound connection paved the way to a richer life. الهی خدا شما را جان سالمی بده خدا سرپرستی شکر بگیم چه آیاتی بدین دعوت را دست در نکنه آقا دست در دست در نکنه دست در نکنه آقا بدین چقدر دوست داری آقا
Ну, вот что я взял. Я The food they want to make is called Turkish kebab. Every ingredient in this has been made by themselves from chicken to vegetables. Even the pot they used to make this food has been made by them. It is so interesting that you can use these pots on fire and they don't break. Our ancestors were really genius to create this kind of art that dates back thousand years ago.
When I think about the past, I recall my days in a company where every action was bound by rules and regulations. But in this close-knit family, a different scene I saw. No oldest, just individuals knowing their own law. The result was shared happiness and joy. I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to go to the house.